The ring general has arrived. A man who ruled NXT with an iron fist and now looks to dominate the main roster. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds. Gorta! Six foot four, 265 pounds. Gunther is steadfast, commanding, imposing. He is the ring general for a reason untouchable and unmatched in the ring. And don't forget, unrelenting. Gunther never lets up and never backs down. Gunther is always ready to demolish anyone who dares come in his path. And if you don't respect him, he'll make sure that you fear him. It is the ring general's battlefield, and he is ready to conquer. It is time for an adrenaline rush. And his opponent from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds, Wes Lee! Lee always has the heart of a champion, no matter what. Michael, we have seen that Wes always fights through adversity and faces any problems head on. Somebody call air traffic control because Wesley is about to take flight. Prepare to see an air of the display like none other. The charismatic Wesley set to compete here tonight. You really got to admire the heart of Wes and the dedication that he brings to every match. With his astounding in-ring abilities and his never-say-die attitude, he's even made believers out of doubters. And now he's ready to make the WWE Universe believe again. And then we've got Gunther, a man determined to restore honor to the ring. The unwavering Austrian is a terrifying force to be reckoned with. No punches will be pulled, no mercy will be shown. Very few competitors are as prideful as Gunther. He sees his fellow superstars as mere annoyances to be swatted out of his way, unworthy of his time. Now he's been put on the defensive. What reflexes? Looking for the pin! Barely kicks out. Very close. The T clearly set again. He steps foot in the ring again. Corey, it's hard to know just what Wesley is going to throw at you. At times, it seems like he invents new moves mid-match. How is his opponent going to deal with that uncertainty? Wesley does have a big playbook, but most of those pages cover aerial attacks. If you can keep him grounded, he'll start to lose his advantage. The momentum is squarely on Gunther's side right now. Wesley's opponent keeping the high flyer grounded, taking away Lee's natural advantage. Control. And Wes isn't looking helpless anymore. Yeah, he's able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Vicious right forearm. Wards off that offense from Wes. Thunderous clothesline. He could pin his opponent right here. Almost ended it there. He just won't give up. Got their opponent up. Driven down Snake Eyes. Wes needs to get his wits about him fast. Wes gets the better there. Knew what was coming there. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Oh, man. He's one step ahead there. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Ripcord knee. Look out! Oh! Just
with the devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. Gunter from behind, looking to cinch it in. This one may be over. Rare naked choke now locked in. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict it. And he lets him out of the submission hold. Could have been a strategic move to wear down that body part for something bigger later. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Wesley having fun, getting it going. Oh, God, a pulting down on the opponent. And so much for ending the match before it starts. Gunther got the fight taken to him there. Oh, that might have just broken something. Wards off that offense from Wes. Plus the educated hands and feet. He's got 11 arms and feet. Pulls the ripcord. Knee strike to the face. Gunther seems unable to turn the momentum here. Gunther needs to cause some separation. Oh, just unloading. That looks bad for Gunther's face. Just breaking down the opponent. Flying. Final attack. Now Wes needs to end this. For the win. Two. Kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. Gunther is down, but not out. Such a competitive drive, refusing to let this be over. You got to imagine this match has a different complexion after what we just saw. Gunther catches him by surprise. Big forearm. Muscles up their opponent. Emerald frozen. Wes went down in a heap. Delivers the knee drop. for that one. Take down. We're going to the cross face. It's cinched in. This could be over. Submission locked in tight. Looking to free the arm and does just that. And he sends him into the corner. Wesley, tremendous athleticism, connects with an elbow. And look at this. Tiger fake kick around the puck. Wesley just uncorks a beauty. I can't believe I just saw that. Whatever it takes is Wesley's motto. Going for it again. <laughs> now Wes needs to end this. Cover. Two count. Somehow he kicked out. Gunther is down, but not out. Such a competitive drive, refusing to let this be over. A new strategy is needed right about now if that couldn't end things. Not the position you want to be in right now. Straight impact on the throat. Oh, stomping away. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. The ring general showing off his power. A power bomb. Wes went down in a heap. No, my, that was close. He's in total disbelief. That did not finish the job. Everyone watching this is in total disbelief right now. It is just unbelievable. And Gunther's tank has got to be running low, guys. I don't know what his game plan is now. This building is rocking right now. Can you blame him? Look at the high frog splash. And as this match goes on, Gunther is looking worse for wear. Gunther has to be careful. He's looking vulnerable here. Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. Got a forearm. Boom, what impact. Wesley is just begging for a fight. Oh, man. Wes with an opening to go high. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Here we go. The one-two punch of high risk, high reward. Wards off that offense from Wes. Wes gets the better there. Whip back into the ring. Dodges. Tuck out. 
West showcasing his strength. West continues on the assault, keeping things at his pace. Incoming! What a Is it enough? The cover! There's two! And yeah, that's a big win right there. And I'm going to check on uh, his opponents. Oh, hold up, hold up. The, this superstar. No, oh, come on, this is uncalled for. Now, what does this prove? The official needs to get in there and get some control. We know there's a lot of disdain between these two men. And we're seeing it right before our very eyes, before this match even starts. Now we're official. Well, they didn't want to wait for the bell, but the referee finally got things under control. It's obvious the issues between these two are so deeply personal. There's the bell to this highly anticipated match. So anticipated, these combatants couldn't even wait for the bell. There is no reason to go through with this match after that brawl before the bell. Oh, I can think of one very good reason. It's called pride. If you had it yourself, you might understand. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Yikes. Oh. And a kick. Great wherewithal on the counter. Whoa. Saw it coming and got out of there. Military press. And that was a Executed attack. Oh man, they do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. And gets tossed back into the mat. Suplex. Great strength being shown here. Oh, man, right to the esophagus. Crushing the knee there. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. The arm absorbing the damage. The Miz has proven to be an expert when it comes to cheap tricks and underhanded tactics. How do you counter that? as his opponent. If by underhanded tactics you mean clever strategies, then yes, Miz is an expert. And I think the only way to combat that is by giving him and this match your complete focus. Take your eyes off the A-lister for even one second, he'll find a way to get one over on you. Oof. Makes the cover. And he powers out. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Hooked up. DDT. Can he do it here? No, he kicks out. An emphatic kick out, and there's still a lot of game left here. Turning the tables there. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Uh-oh. Miz escapes damage. In front of DDT. Lights out. Catches the kick into a dragon screw leg whip. Beautiful standing shooting star. 
Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. He steers clear of contact. What are we going to see here? Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Snapmare Traversia. And the DDT. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. Fighting back against Miz. Oh, strong impact. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Counters that. Oh, tossed aside. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. He may be in a bad way here. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Fails to connect on the springboard. Beautiful standing shooting star. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. It'll power bomb. That just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. Piercing the throat. The cover, shoulders down. Got him. The Miz picks up the W. So chalk up a win for them in this match, and I think it's safe to say it's all thanks to that fairly vicious attack we saw. And I'm wondering if that attack earlier is going to have a lingering effect beyond just this match. That's entirely possible. Lasting damage might have been incurred there. To start this off with a show of respect. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. For it. A chaotic start to this matchup. Hey, they should have known better than that. Come on. Tension so high between these competitors. Imagine what they're going to do to each other tonight. And as we just saw, emotions are clearly at a high in this one, guys. Look, Cole, it's just business here. No need for the niceties or handshakes or hugging it out. I'm just pointing out a lack of common courtesy here, Corey. It's all competition, Cole. Don't forget that. The time for niceties can be after the bell, if they so choose to see fit. Counter! And now there's an opening. Ducking out of trouble. Hoist their opponent all the way up, letting the world absorb their plans, making it look easy. Wow! Oh. Stalling suplex. Andy was scouted there. Fez press! Fez press! Get his press! Hoping to end it early. the shoulder. Not enough to get past the one count yet. Drop kick right on point. She's starting to look concerned. 
Perez fought tough on that one. Reversal from Hartwell. Single leg drop kick. As far as well as their opponent down, locking it in. This is agonizing. Trying to make a stage. She needed that badly. Ooh. Hit the ropes. Brutal knee to the side of the face. Oh my goodness. Kick to the spine. Ah, right to the back. Elbow drop. Piercing. Ah, she's trying. Trying to create space. Going up high with the punt. Oh, this is not going to be good. She's in trouble out there, guys. Oh, boy. She's ready to attack. She's got an answer for that. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Great counter. Look, elbow smash. Nothing fancy. Elbow drop. Piercing. Roxanne is being overwhelmed. Indy has her opponent figured out. And what a throw that was. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about... <laughs> Roxanne Perez just all fired up, dropping her opponent. And nice clothesline delivered by Perez. Ooh, man. Her shoulders are down. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Oh, right to the kidneys. God, please. Ooh, what a forearm claw. Scouted it and fired back with a punch straight to the face. Springboard drop kick. Good golly, Miss Molly. Oh, with authority. Oh, reversal catches Hartwell. Roxanne Perez looking for pop rocks. Critical danger for Indy. It's all over. Roxanne Perez comes up big with a win. Respect shown to them before the bell. You can't deny that it gave them a bit of an edge in this one. An edge that drove them to come out on top. Well, it looks like the earlier show of disrespect really lit a fire underneath them. Oh, kind of like you and Byron, Corey. Oh, you could give Saxon a matchbook and he still wouldn't be able to light a fire. Hey! See what I mean? Now here's someone whose only interest is beating people into oblivion. And don't expect to see any mercy or remorse because Mark Coffey has zero. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Gallus. 
from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 238 pounds, Mark Coffee. It shouldn't be a surprise that Mark Coffee's out here smashing people. He trained with Finn Balor before going to Japan and then made an impact in NXT. And Coffee has already experienced success in tag and singles competition. He held the NXT UK tag titles for 497 days, won the NXT UK Heritage Cup, and has also been an NXT Tag Team Champion. Most opponents are not prepared for the fury that comes when Mark Coffey competes. Social media is buzzing, a big fight feel, and a main event level match. The champ planning to show his dominance in this division with an emphatic win tonight. The tough as nails, Mark Coffey, as always, ready for a fight. No doubt about it. Coffey only has one thing on his mind, and that is to lay waste to the competition. It doesn't matter to him how he gets it done, as long as he is able to have his arm raised at the end of the night. Scary focus in the eyes of Coffey tonight. Determined as ever. But also in the ring is a totally unhinged madman known simply as Butch. Butch only has one mode, and that is fight fight, fight. Once Butch sets his sights on an opponent, he's determined to turn them into his victim, and he will go after them like a rabid dog. Butch has a short fuse and is also something of a sadist. Just the way he goes after his opponent's joints, it's downright gruesome. Loading up, full speed ahead. A hip attack up. in the corner. He can do it here. Whoa. And he breaks the count quickly. So resilient. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Butch was waiting for it. Butch loves to just attack his opponents at full speed, but the key to victory can't be that simple, can it? Butch used to be extremely deliberate in his strategy, Cole, but now he throws himself full force at his opponent. But that old methodical style is still dormant within Butch, so he should use it. That got turned around on Mark Coffey. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, right to the throat. Coffey has swayed the momentum his way. Yeah, Mark Coffey isn't giving any quarter. Bang! Snap suplex. Moves outside. What's the plan here? High angle belly of back suplex. Wrenching the arm. Driven all the way down for a European arm breaker. As the arm into a hammerlock cinched in. What's next? Oh, oh my God, what an arm breaker. <laughs> Able to reverse that one. Butch hyping up the crowd. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. Being carried around with ease. Right across the throat. And that was obviously not a part of Mark's strategy. Oh, oh my 
Shaw, surfboard leg breaker. What a shot! Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Look at this. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. And Mark's resolve might be wavering here. Butch dictating the pace here. Now he can determine whether to keep going full force or go back to his older, methodical style. The Kimura! The Kimura! Oh, Kimura lock. Good luck getting out of this. I guess that's one way to do it. Ooh, elbow strike. Boom, Butch with a timely counter. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. But continuously executing his game plan. Coffee now just... And here's a cover. Oh, he kicked out. He thought he had it. midsection he could have a broken rib oh man uh, really hard to celebrate a victory in this state it was a battle that was incredibly intense this should come as no surprise both athletes leaving worse for wear Please sit down, Byron. Please. I can't help sit down. it. I got a goosebump parade running up and down my body. The new day's here. A goosebump parade. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring, accompanied by Big E at a combined weight of 417 pounds. Xavier. I look at these guys and I think two things. Boy, do they love unicorns and pancakes too much, but also they can main event any show on their own. And that's why we are all oh so lucky to see them here tonight. <laughs> The raid is about to begin. Brace for pillaging and destruction. 
and their opponents, accompanied by Valhalla, at a combined weight of 552 pounds, the NXT Tag Team Champions, Ivar and Eric, the Viking Raiders! You can just feel the ferocity of this trio. Yeah, Eric and Ivar are vicious as it is, but when you add Valhalla, it's even worse. Her presence certainly alters things. It's almost like she awakens their bloodlust. These three take no prisoners. That's how you know this will get ugly. The Viking Raiders looking to make their presence known in this match here tonight. Uh, I don't think their presence is ever questioned, Cole. From their entrance to the ring of the bell, the Viking Raiders are all gas and no brakes. I don't know if anyone can match the sort of intensity that Eric and Ivar possess. If you had let me finish, Corey, that's where I was going. But to add to our point, it's not just the imagery that establishes the Raiders' presence, but also their unbelievable athleticism. And you know that with the New Day, they're going to try to get a frenetic pace going. They're going to channel the energy of the WWE Universe. Caught with a punch. A well-timed dodge. That's one of my all-time favorites. Showing off their submission. Getting set up for something in the corner. Bronco Buster connects. That took the breath right out of them. Caught all that weight right on the sternum. Eric gets countered. Lefts and rights. Right on target with a stop to the gut. What the heck is this manager doing looking under the ring? She can't be acting like this. What a punch. And it's going to be hard for Woods to send a message if he gets outmatched like that. Yeah, as that was that aggressiveness we talk about when it comes to the Viking Raiders. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. And tag! He's in now! Finally! going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. With an uppercut. Foot to the gut. Stop to the gut. Boot to the stomach. 
comes in off the tag. for the future of the tag division. Great tag team action on display, guys. DIY has arrived. One of the most beloved teams in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 400 pounds. Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. DIY. Ciampa. Gargano, two men who went to war in NXT and came out the other side as an even stronger team. They've made a bet together and against each other, and it's brought them as close as a team can be. Now we're about to see a new chapter in their history tonight. The Enforcer, Solo Sokoa. And their opponents, first, representing the Bloodline from Las Vegas.
Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sokoa! A man of very few words, Solo prefers to let his fists do all the talking. You talk about intimidation factor, Solo has this entire arena feeling uneasy right now. Nothing but grim determination on the face of Sokoa. Well, it doesn't take a psychic to know what he has in mind tonight. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. He said he'll steal the show here tonight, and he looks more than ready to deliver on that promise. Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, collectively known as DIY, ready for action. That acronym is what fuels Ciampa and Gargano. They were never expected to even make it to WWE, but they have become an all-time great team because of DIY, or do it yourself. It's brought Gargano and Ciampa very far. Let's see if it leads them to victory tonight, too. What's coming here? Explorer suplex! Ouch! There he goes, right into the corner. Gargano. Package super kick! Basement drop kick! One scouted. Knife edge chop. Good contact. Oh, turn that around. Reply with a boot. Comes down across the head with the axe handle. Boom. Solo with a timely counter. Oh, look at this. Just crank of the head. That's got to hurt. in the head. Goodness gracious. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. With the lariat. Shifts it back onto him. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Tossed into the ring. Tag is made, and here we go. What the heck is this manager doing looking under the ring? He can't be acting like this. He is delivering elbow after elbow. The arms trap. Out precision strikes. Just going all out with every blow. 
Placing them into the corner. And that's what we call the tree of woe position, folks. Strong Whoa. kick. My goodness. Right up against oh, his face. Come on. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. He catches Jimmy with a counter. Picking up speed. The old running haymaker. Gosh. Uh-oh. Targets the gut to end the offense. Hoisted up. Whipped over. And his shoulders are down. No, a kick out. Doesn't bow well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Enable to counter. Bicycle knee strike. Ouch. Ooh. Right on the arm. Gets the tag. Now that's a bell ringer. Whoa, stiff headbutt. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. An arm breaker. Jimmy saw it coming. Looking wobbly in the corner. Make a wish. And Sokoa gets warded off. Big four. Tag is good. Sent out to the center of the ring. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Yeah. Fez press and the piston-like right hands. Fez press. He's going to the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. It only gets a one count. Kicking out now sends a very clear message. Oh, what's going to happen here? Look out. Exploder suplex. Placed in the corner now. Brutal short arm lariat. He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Necessary. Vice like grip on the trapezius muscle. This is terribly painful. Target in the stomach to reverse that maneuver. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Oh, hanging on for dear life. Oh, alley -oop bomb. He's in off the tag. Big form. Oh, back elbow. Tossed into the corner. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Oh, man. Ooh. 
Oh, look at this. This is going to be nasty. Exploder into the corner. Ouch. He is just reeling from that offense. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Oh, dear. This doesn't look good. That's a free fall. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Soul kick. Champa skillfully counters. Oh, haven't seen this in a long time. The old air raid crash for the win. Did he do that? Power bomb. A knee right to the face. Get him into the corner. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. This their opponent's uh, legs. Uh, oh. is Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. And that move looked to throw Champ off his game. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Delivering nasty stops. Revert. Tag. Uh-oh, sets him up. That's one for Sakoa before. The cover. Three. No, a kick out just in time. As close to three as you could possibly get without the bell ringing. He deflects it right back. A big four connects. It has been a constant barrage from each of these competitors. Almost a this amount of punishment has been dealt. It's got to be concerning. Clearly, neither man is worried about their well-being. Sokoa showing no fear up there. From the top. Oh, Samoa, it's flat. Solo Sokoa. Ah, oh, look at this. Just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Jimmy Uso tags in. Vicious right forearm. He gets out of the way. Jimmy gets intercepted. Raking the face with her forearm and an elbow. Here he goes for the win. And there's the win. Huge win here tonight. Here are your winners, Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso. The Bloodline. And tonight, DIY just couldn't do it. That's about as perfect an example of tag team wrestling you're ever likely to see.
the symphony can only mean one thing. It is time for Seth freaking Rollins. Listen to the WWE Universe. They're singing along, and they're not done yet. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds, the NXT Champion, Seth freaking Rollins! A storied career. Rollins has held every singles and tag team title of note in WWE. The first ever NXT Champion. The first man to hold the newly minted World Heavyweight Championship. Rollins is one of the most complete competitors this industry has ever seen and is a cornerstone in WWE. You want to prove yourself? Test the visionary. The Lone Wolf about to prey on Monday Night Raw. Again, Corbin has redefined himself. Free of nicknames and fancy outfits, here's to separating the men from the boys. You have to respect it. He's at the top of his game right now. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Gloves boxing champion, NFL offensive lineman, turned champion in WWE. And there's definitely a new spark in Baron Corbin these days. It seems he's rekindled something that might have flickered out some time ago. He's just so much more focused now. And we all know that a focused Corbin is a dangerous Corbin. And you can call his opponent Seth freaking Rollins, whatever you want. But once that bell rings, you simply have to call him a mastermind. Because Rollins is always playing four-dimensional chess. In comparison, the rest of the locker room, they're playing checkers. Sent into the corner. There's a line to the back of the neck. Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Paying it right back with a reversal. Caught him right on the bridge of the nose. Rollins making perfectly clear who the visionary is in this match. No! Oh no! Crashing hard onto the floor. Talk about a jumping nothing. A real miscalculation on their part. Oh, right, so so it cinched it. They're going to free the arm and does just that. Big reversal by Rollins. Kick to the gut. Cracked around into a neck breaker. He turns it around. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Corbin gets stymied. And now he's looking for safety out. Uh-oh. Oh, just completely off target there. Brash decision-making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. Setting up for something here. 
for their trouble. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? He got whipped into that corner. Boom! The Gulak attack. He drops the hammer right on the lower back. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Typical crafty offense from Rollins as this match goes on. Jeez, I just hope Corbin's okay. Ooh, knee right to the spine. Make your legs go numb. A oh, club with a right forearm. Oh, right right the line. It's cinched in. This could be over. Will the We're going to free the arm and does just that. Turns the tide with a knee to the abdomen. Stops the kick. Clothesline takes him down. Forget about it. Great counter. Oh, my God. All the way to the outside. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Double underarm hook, blocked, and countered with a vicious clothesline. Rollins. There's the forearm to the back of the neck. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Over the barricade, you can feel the impact. What destruction. Got it cinched in. This could be it. Oh, oh my God, a small package driver. And they are out in the throngs of the WWE Universe itself. He comes back over the barricade. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. Elbow will break that up. Oh, he gets what he deserves for all that bloating. Training back and forth blows now. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Back and forth, neither one giving up any ground. Seth Rollins. Oh. And it can be all over for Corbin. Cover. Hangs on by a thread. I got to hand it to Corbin there, showing a lot determination to avoid the pinfall. Rollins is starting to lose his temper. He needs to put that aside and refocus. The King Slayer is dominating. Seth's doing whatever he wants because he can. So much punishment has been absorbed by these men already. And yet, they are still going. Still ready for more. Oh! These two trading one more after another. Logan away with everything they've got. Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor letting up. A far right to the jaw. Someone's about to take a nap. Boom! Good night. Looking for the victory. He breaks the ref's count before two. Unbelievable display of will in the late stages of this matchup. Thanks for coming. End of days. Corbin might take it here. That's gotta be it. Quick shoulder up. Are you kidding me? Not even a one count. And now Corbin is known to become enraged when things don't go his way. That could become a detriment at this stage. He's reeling, slowly getting up. To the sky. Time. 
This one is headed outside, guys. Pulls the trigger. A knee of the revolution style by Rollins. Oh, caught him. Uh oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Pedigree. And I bet Seth's been plotting that move all match long. Visionary offense from the Drip God. You can feel it. The place is rocking. The WWE Universe making their feelings known. From the top, elbow drop. Good lord. And there's the cover. <laughs> Seth Rollins gets the win. Here is your winner, Seth Freaking Rollins. The match ends in a loss for Baron Corbin. When you're Seth freaking Rollins, you expect a certain amount of success like this. All in a day's work for the visionary. The Judgment Day is here. Everyone in their way is doomed. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, the NXT UK Women's Champion and the WWE Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley! A unified front of highly decorated, highly skilled, highly dangerous competitors so when united they are truly lethal may they consider themselves inevitable as if nobody can stop them well, nobody has so far The Judgment Day, almost creative in their physicality. They take pleasure in it, Michael. I hope medical is standing by for this one. Well, the Judgment Day, quite simply, will do anything to win. Well, there's competition, Corey, and then there's what Judgment Day is willing to resort to. She is a true fan favorite. From Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Rhea Morgan! 
We used to wonder if Liv Morgan could ever reach her potential. Well, she has done that and more. Yeah, who will ever forget when Liv Morgan won the Money in the Bank contract and managed to successfully cash it in on Ronda Rousey to win the SmackDown Women's Championship. Rhea Ripley has truly become the walking embodiment of brutality. She displays a viciousness that's just on another level. When you get in the ring with Ripley, things are guaranteed to get ugly. And that's just the way she wants it. Rhea has fully embraced the darkness inside her and unleashes it on her opponents to great effect. But the suffering she inflicts can be downright barbaric at times. No doubt we'll see that wicked streak of hers on full display here. But if there's one thing Liv Morgan loves, it's wreaking havoc. When Liv puts her body on the line, she doesn't care if something bad happens to her as long as something worse happens to her opponent. Reversal! Can she capitalize? Ooh, nasty kick. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. Liv Morgan looks fired up taking on Rhea Ripley. Will that emotion be a help or a hindrance here? Liv has always thrived off of raw emotion, so I think it'll help her counter Rhea's power game. If she's able to absorb punishment and keep the momentum going, Morgan has a real shot at this one. Paying it back with their own counter. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. Morgan gets intercepted. Able to avoid the hard there. But oh, 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 shoulders down. No early kick out. Yeah, she probably knew that cover wouldn't. Maybe not, maybe not. And she kicks out at two. Just barely, but it counts. Running clothesline. Liv Morgan just showing you how driven she is to take down her opponent. Catches the leg. Nice leg sweep delivered. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Well scouted by Ripley. Oh, solid form. And Liv got completely caught by that maneuver. Ripley delivered that move with every ounce of spite in her body. Rhea, top turnbuckle. Launching. Look at that missile drop kick. Woo. With the reversal. Jumping complete shot. Bad spot for Ripley. Cover. What a kick out, kick out of two. Wow. After a kick out like that, you have to be impressed by Rhea Ripley. And with that outcome, maybe Liv just saw this one slip through her fingers. Two on one, face breaker. Is it enough? The cover. Two. Kick out. She just won't stay down. Legs looking for the final exclamation. The jumping complete shot. It's first. Can Liv put things away here? She kicks out. I don't believe it. How on earth was Rhea Ripley able to kick out of that one? Just barely is apparently the answer, but sometimes that's all it takes. And with that outcome, maybe Liv just saw this one slip through her fingers. And you hear the crowd letting them know Rhea and Liv are truly delivering something special. Wrist clutch applied. And now a series of stomps and kicks. Shot sent all the way to the outside. A little call and response from the nightmare to the WWE Universe.
and countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. And now thrown back into the ring. And this one might be headed ringside. This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. Oh, Northern Lights! You can't take much more of this. Yeah, she is not looking good right now. Stop after stop. Relentless. Tossing them aside. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. showed absolutely no care for the well-being of Ripley's opponent. This is Rhea's unique form of brutality. Kick to the gut by Ripley. Followed by Rhea with the riptide. Liv won't come back from that. Two. Wow, just barely making it out. Liv Morgan showed what she's made of there with a really impressive kick out. Rhea Ripley's best shot couldn't end this, and you've got to wonder what's next. Turn fire on Rhea. And a lot of crowd doesn't get any hotter than this on the edge of their seats and then some. Wow, oh, Ripley put a stop to that. Sleeper slam! Well-placed punch, ugly, but effective response. Liv Morgan taking a trip into oblivion. Liv could have this one. For the win! The count was stopped before it started. Amazing. And Liv Morgan truly thought she'd finished it. She can't let this get to her, though. She has to keep going. showing no remorse about defeating her former friend, Liv Morgan. This is a big girl's game, and you can't let emotion get in the way of it. There's an important lesson for Liv Morgan to learn here if she's smart enough to learn it, and it turns out Rhea is a damn good teacher. A true rock star entrance. 
There is an electric feeling in this arena. Undeniable energy to his arrival. Setting the stage for what's to come next. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan. The king of strong style is ready for action. His renowned striking ability, his MMA background. If you come at the king, you best not miss. Especially when the king can hit back. Shinsuke has proven it with newfound brutality. The Scottish Warrior has arrived. A multi-time world champion and a Royal Rumble winner. And to this day, one of the toughest fighters in WWE. The Scottish Warrior outlasted 29 other superstars to win the 2020 Royal Rumble match and then carried that momentum all the way to WrestleMania, where he became WWE Champion. Shinsuke Nakamura lives by a code of honor, and he's taken it upon himself to strike down anyone who does anything less or stands in his way. That code of honor seems to revolve around psychologically and physically dismantling your opponent. Eccentric as he is, Nakamura definitely isn't playing around here. But let's take some time to discuss the warrior in the ring. Part of what makes McIntyre exceptional is the raw intensity he brings to the ring. You just look at him and you can feel his drive, his motivation to topple every foe that gets in his way. I'd go so far as to call Drew McIntyre's determination scary at times. Drew doesn't care what he has to endure to get the win. He's here for victory at all costs. Trying to get that mental edge. You can't let yourself get psyched out. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Scouting pays off against Nakamura. Oh, did you hear that thud? Shoulders down, this could be it. That's still a quick kick out at this point. Just rubbing salt in the wound now. But I guarantee they're gonna take great umbrage with that offense. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Nakamura's style on display. Corey, we all know how much Drew loves to fight. There are so few men who can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with him in a brawl. How 
smart do you think it is to try to match Drew in that realm here? It's probably not smart at all. But you know what they say, Cole. If you want respect, you have to fight the biggest dog in the yard. Easier said than done against McIntyre, but when you're up against the Scottish Warrior, you have to know the kind of fight you're getting into. Stiff elbow will break that up. Body slam slipped out. to be caught in here. Lands face first. Now a series of vicious stumps. You can feel the resentment building with each stomp there. Turned that one around. His shoulders are down. Shoulder up and the referee ends the count. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Oh, what a kick. Hits back against Nakamura. Versus and looks to capitalize. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Oh, Glasgow kiss from Drew McIntyre. Drew's competition knows he's in the deep waters now, and McIntyre is the king shark. Does he get him here? Shinsuke Nakamura comes out of this one defeated. No way this loss does anything but rile Shinsuke up. He is not going to let this go.